Hi guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. And that's the Laws of Attraction in Action.com, the Laws of Attraction in Action, the group right here on Facebook. Well, hopefully this isn't coming in too glitchy and um, yeah, hopefully it's not too glitchy because I'm actually using my uh, PC today as opposed to my telephone because really and truly my telephone was downstairs and I didn't feel like going to care. So that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. It's absolutely beautiful here in sunny, 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 sunny Las Vegas. And again, I hope you guys are having a absolutely good day. Good morning to you. Um, I'm going to say Ibrahim. Hopefully I've said that correctly. Uh, good morning to you. Well, guys, is today what I just want to talk about briefly is simply this is what you are asking right for you and I didn't want to put it across as be careful what you ask for because you might get it but in, in essence this is what this is about in essence this is exactly what this is about be careful what you ask for because you might get it one of the things that we don't realize is how powerful we are we underestimate our ability to knock down walls, forge through streams, you know, go under, under boulders, move boulders, explode boulders, what have you, so we can have the things that we say that we want. Now, it's really important to understand just because we have said that we have wanted it, and just because we get it uh, here, this is where I'm going. Just because we get it doesn't actually mean that it's good for us. You see, the universe, people, people have this, this, this thought process that um, there's always somebody there that's going to save us. There's always somebody there that's going to save us. Well, guys, here's, here's the 411. Here's the 911, here's the 999, whatever it is. Here is the deal. Nobody's going to save you but you. Now, will you get assistance? Will you get direction? Will you get um, a support? Yes. But ultimately, as I have said to you, and I really mean this, and I, I truly want to drive this point home, is that your life is predicated your life is built your life is experienced the reality that you are living is based upon the choices that you have made good bad indifferent are all the emotions that you feel about your choices are all the emotions that you feel prior to your choices being made manifest so can you manifest things in your life that aren't right for you? Can you do that? Yes, you can. Yes, you, yes, you can. You can manifest things in your life that are not right for you. And we do this all the time. This, again, is how powerful we are. This is how powerful you are. And so for me, this year is about consciously listening to your internal dialogue. It's about consciously listening in to your internal dialogue so you can really start mm, creating the life that you say that you want to live. So why do we do this, guys? Why do we actually manifest things that we don't want? Why do we do this? And it's because we want. It's because we want what we want. It's because we want what we want. And I truly do believe on a personal level, at a subconscious level, we recognize how powerful we are. But why do we do this? Why do we manifest things that we, that we want? It's because we want what we want. And because we want what we want, we will do everything and anything to get it. You see, just because you want what you want doesn't mean that um, doesn't mean that one is going to make you happy. Two, 
um, you're not going to realize after you got it. Oops. I, I wish I, I, I wish I didn't do this. Oops. I didn't know this situation was going to be like this. So guys, um, it's vitally important. It's vitally important that, um, let's see, I'm just moving up my line here. It's vitally important that, you know, we, we do, we do what it is that we are doing and we recognize that when we continuously open doors that have been shut to us, which is what we do, when we continuously open doors that have been shut to us, we are going to get the thing that perhaps isn't universally conducive to where it is that we need to be, but is going to show us where we need to be when we get it. So hopefully that makes sense. So when we when we continuously open doors that have been shut to us, and we can do that, a lot of people would have you believe, or a lot of things out there would have you believe that, you know, when, when a door shuts, another one opens. No, you have the ability, and as is your divine right, to open any door that has been shut to you. And what has happened is many people open doors that have been shut to them, doors that have been padlocked. They go out and they find the tools, they get the tools and they open the door. Da -da, here I am. Many people open doors that have been shut to them and they walk through and they think, yeah. And after a little while, they're like, oh, my God. What have I done? You know, what was I thinking? Well, you see, the universe was trying to support you when that door slammed shut. The universe was trying to support you when that window slammed shut and those nails went in. The, the universe was trying to support you when you were laid out flat on your back and you were ill, giving you time to think. The universe was trying to support you. And the universe, also known to me as God, the creator of all things, was trying to support you. But you see, your life is built upon your choices. Your life is built upon your choices because the universe, known to me as God, creator of all, cannot answer for you. Cannot answer for you. In scriptures, it says that Christ can only intercede up until a point because you have to answer for you and the things that you have chosen to do so that being said you have walked through this door and it's like oh yeah I'm, I made it through this door through all odds I made it through this door I kicked this door down yeah and you go through it and you're like first week second week first month third month six months seven months nine months into this you're like, oh, my God, I didn't know it was going to be like this. And some of these things are a lifetime commitment that you have made. Some of the things that you have done, they are a lifetime commitment. Because, you see, with every action comes a reaction. And the reaction is something that you can't control. And so there's this, this, this commitment that you have made. And a commitment that you are bound. You are bound um, to see through. So, guys recognize that it's vitally important to understand that you you can ask for anything that you want you can ask for anything that you want you can get anything that you want and you can get anything that you want if you believe it you see getting what you want and the things that you are asking for doesn't mean that they're right for you. It doesn't mean that they're right for you. So guys, yes, we can manifest things that are not right for us. Yes, we can. And we do this for a variety of reasons. But when you, when you take it down, when you hone it down, when you cut it down, we do it because it's something that we feel that we want. We do it because our lives are built based on choices. I have met Many people, many people who have asked for things, things that they have been shown time and time again, perhaps 
this is not the most, this is not the best thing for you. This is not the most expedient thing for you to fulfill your life's purpose because everybody here, everybody here on the face of this earth, I believe is here for a purpose. I have met many people who have had experiences that are not so nice, experiences that are traumatic, but yet still they push through to say, nah, this is what I want. They get hit again. Nah, this is what I want. And if you listen sometimes to the metaphysical community, they tell you that that's, that's trying to uh, test your resolve or to see if you really, really want it. That's not the way the universe works. Like the universe, like the universe and God have time for that. No, it's telling you this is not right for you. This isn't right for you. Because you see, somewhere along the line, God, the universal creator of all, can see a big picture that you can't see. This isn't right for you. And it's not right for you because it's going to derail you from your purpose or it's going to make, make it more difficult for you to, um, to, to fulfill your contractual agreement, to fulfill your purpose as to why you're here. And again, as I say, I've seen many people, many, many people who have pushed for things that shouldn't, that, that, that really and truly they have just because they believe that they wanted it. And then when they get it, they don't want it. When they get it, they realize it doesn't even fit into the lifestyle of who they are. When they get it, they realize it, it has slowed, showed, uh, um, slowed down their potential to be everything that they can be. And yet now they have this to add to the equation so that they can rise up and be everything that they want to be. And you see that the upshot to that is you can still do whatever it is that you are here to do. You can still do whatever it is that you want to do. You just have to do it differently. So, guys, again, not to belabor a point. Be careful what you're asking for. If you are getting all these flags, if these doors are really shutting on you, and not just one or two doors, but if these doors are shutting, I mean, the, the thing that you're going after, if doors have shut on you traumatically or otherwise, six, seven, eight, nine times, five, six times, the chances are that that thing that you're going for isn't exactly for you in this moment. It's not for you in this moment. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is to step off of that, to step off of it and say, okay, I release this and I let it go. I recognize that all the signs are telling me this is not for me. So I know something better is coming for me. Or I know something better is out there for me to make a choice on. So for me, it's a win-win. But before I go, guys, it's really important to understand that the universe, the universal creator, the universal creator is there to assist and support you in your choice-making process. Whether that choice is good or bad, whether that choice makes you happy or sad, that's all about you and the emotions that you attach to the manifestation. So guys, be really, really clear on what you want. Use your time to talk to yourself. The internal dialogue, this is what this year is all about, your internal dialogue. So talk to yourself. If things, if doors are really slamming shut, don't try to reopen a door over here, trying to get back around here so you can get in this door that has slammed shut. Don't spend your wheels, don't, don't spin your wheels doing that. Talk to yourself. Ask yourself, what am I wanting? What am I really, really, really wanting? Good morning, sweetheart. 
What am I wanting? What am I really, really wanting for me? What do I really, really want for me? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself that question. What do I want for me? So that being said, guys, I'm about to get off. I'm about to get offline here and think about it. We can manifest things that are not right for us. And every actually, all of us have had that experience. All of us, all of us have had that experience where we're like, oh my God, I don't believe this really. Oh my God, I don't believe. Oh my God, I asked for this. And when you stop, you're like, I asked for this. I can't believe I asked for this. Yeah, all of us have had that experience. All of us know what knows what that feels like. So that being said, guys, like I said, I did this on my computer. I don't know how glitchy it is. It looks glitchy to me, but that's okay. I don't feel like going downstairs to get my telephone. Guys, have an awesome day. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Check out the group, The Laws of Attraction in Action. Download the free PDFs. Do the work. Only you can do the work for you. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.